we're gonna do something that is very, very cool solution for a snack that you would like to have. Let's talk about these beautiful breads. Now, the croutons I love are absolutely from this right bread. The ones that are made from that are also very, very good, um, but I'm a fan of the bread with the sourdough. So you're gonna see the taste is a lot of different. What is more, they are also a perfect base for our soup that is actually a nothing soup and then you have something else inside of that. As for the grzanki in Polish, which are called croutons, not really toasts, are, toasts are made with no butter. This is made using butter. So how do you make those? What you need to do at first is you need to have your bread, uh, leftover bread, so one that is probably not really good anymore. Um, it can be in pieces, it can be in a whole piece. What you do is you just cut the bread, just like that. Then you cut it in stripes and then the stripes you go ahead like that. What you get out from that is little squares that you can use um, for basically anything. So what we have to do in order to fry the breadcrumbs is we melt the butter first. If you would put the butter over here then put the breadcrumbs um, this is also one of the solutions, but what you can do using butter first by melting it is you can put spices inside. So those, those little croutons, why should they be like naked? What we can do is we can put garlic in, we can put bell peppers in, we can put any kind of spices in, whatever you like. Oregano for Italians, basil for Italians as well, parsley also for Italians and Polish people. You can do whatever you want with your breadcrumbs. As long as you melt the butter first, put the spices in the butter, then what you do is you pour the ready-made melted butter on those. I have ready-made croutons over here. This is our addition for salads, for soups, but let's do something completely different out of that. What we need to fry on this pan in order to use the leftover bread that we have over here. The leftover bread, the leftover rye bread is something that you can, um, you can cut, but you can also not use a knife and do it very simple, simple way. As for that, this is bacon. In the original recipe, bacon is probably not really welcome. What you would have is something like swanina. It's uh, the pig's fat, the pork fat, in one piece that we call the lard. It's not really popular, not only in your countries, but honestly in Poland right now. So bacon is absolutely good to use, especially the part with a bit of fat. So make sure if you use bacon, that the fat you have over there is over there. Now we're going to fry the bacon, we're going to fry the bacon, we're going to fry the bacon first using my favorite induction stoves. When you put the bacon in, we heat, um, we heat that on high temperature and then we're going to lower that. So good, the bacon is frying. What we, want, what we want from the bacon is we want the fat to release. When we're going to have a bit more of the lard that's going to come out, we're going to put that bread inside, we're gonna put the onion inside and then we're gonna have something absolutely amazing as we're gonna deal with a, we're gonna deal with that recipe as with a, we call it Chinese little soups. This soup actually I call a Polish ramen. Right now in Poland, a lot of people are not really excited about Polish cooking. Polish cooking um, is tradition and tradition is never something that is actually new. So a lot of people in Poland are into Asian food, not knowing what they really have. Amazing, amazing taste of our old Polish cooking.
So as you can see the bacon, the bacon is frying. The bacon is frying. And what we can do right now is we can put all of that bread in. As for the amount of that, the bacon should be half of the leftover bread that you have. The leftover bread goes in. Remember, you can also crush it like that. It doesn't matter actually. And this is kind of fun and relaxing. Very relaxing. I'm gonna do more. Mm. So now guys, when you, when, you fry, um, when you fry all that bread with bacon, make sure the temperature is very, very high as we want the bread to be crunchy. When you have the bread over there for a minute, we have to remember about our national vegetable, the queen, the onion. This one is already cut in a square, so it doesn't really look like, uh, like it's onion, but it was onion. You can do a lot of things with onion. We're gonna talk about it. I'm a huge fan of onions. Allergies to onion terrify me. Now guys, when you, fry the, when you fry the bacon together with the bread and together with, the, together with the onion, what is very important is for that to get a bit of uh, brown color, even the onion. We don't want it to be glazed. We want a bit of brown color. And when it's ready, it's gonna take us only three minutes. We're gonna do something really special as we're gonna put hot water on that. And that's almost the end of the recipe which uh, I enjoy very much. So when I make it at home, my boyfriend says, I don't make it very well, as this is supposed to be a bit more brown. He's wrong. Żartuję, kochanie. Muszę coś mówić, nie? So what you need to wait for is for the onion to be a bit more ready. As for the onion, it's gonna get glazed at first and then it's gonna get a bit of brown color. It's gonna take us probably three minutes from now on. Polish style. The simple recipe, the simple recipe for the croutons together with bacon and, um, and the onion is only that plus hot water that you pour on it. But we can make something more out of that. Even traditionally, eggs are in the tradition of Poland since I can remember, which is obvious as I'm naturally from 19th century. Now guys, when you have that, when you have that when you have that ready, the bread got brown, we can put it in a pot. Looks like that so far. And what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna pour the hot water over there. As for the hot water, the amount of hot water should be like half a centimeter over the croutons that you have. Something like that. Nothing special for now, but we can make ramen out of that. And making ramen out of that is also very Polish style. Seriously, if it comes to Polish people, they would put parsley inside they would put dill, they would put chives, potatoes, of course, boiled potatoes. We don't have time for that, we're not gonna boil the potatoes, but eggs are also very, very important, important ingredient if you want to make that soup richer. So what you do is you just put the eggs in and then you go with the green stuff. Now, that would be a perfect Polish dish made out of basically nothing. 